Linda Harrison, an accomplished actress, rose to fame in the late 1960s. She is best known for her iconic role as Nova in the classic science fiction film Planet of the Apes and its sequel, Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Harrison's portrayal of Nova, a mute human woman, captivated audiences and solidified her place in film history. Born on July 26, 1945, in Berlin, Maryland, Harrison's interest in acting began at a young age. After high school, she moved to New York City to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. Harrison's natural talent and striking beauty quickly caught the attention of industry professionals, leading to her first film role in the group in 1966. Harrison's career continued to flourish, and she became a familiar face in both film and television. In addition to her work in Planet of the Apes, she appeared in numerous other productions, including The Deadly Hunt, Carter's Army, and The Human Duplicators. Harrison also had a recurring role on the popular television show The Streets of San Francisco. Despite her success, Harrison remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to act in various productions throughout the 1970s and 1980s, always bringing a unique and captivating presence to the screen. Today, Harrison's contributions to the entertainment industry are still celebrated. Her role as Nova in Planet of the Apes remains a classic and beloved performance, and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers alike. Harrison's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring allure of the silver screen. Linda Harrison is an actress who gained fame in the late 1960s and early 1970s. She is best known for her role as Nova in the classic films Planet of the Apes and Beneath the Planet of the Apes and Beneath the Planet of the Apes. With her distinctive look and strong screen presence, Harrison became an enduring symbol of the industry. What is it about Harrison that makes her so memorable? Is it her striking beauty, her unique talent, or the way she brought her characters to life? We'd love to hear your thoughts on what makes Harrison an everlasting symbol of the industry. Do you have a favorite memory associated with Harrison and her work? Maybe you saw Planet of the Apes in the theater when it first came out, or you've enjoyed watching her on television over the years. Whatever your memory may be, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Throughout this video, we'll be sharing some funny, shocking, and sad facts about Harrison and her career. From her early days as a model and actress to her more recent roles, there's plenty to discover about this classic star. So be sure to keep watching to learn more. Linda Harrison was born in 1945 in Berlin, Maryland, to a family that owned a movie theater. This early exposure to film sparked her interest in acting. As a child, she would often watch movies with her siblings and mimic the actor's lines and gestures. Her parents encouraged her creativity and enrolled her in dance and drama classes. In high school, Harrison's drama teacher recognized her talent and cast her in leading roles in school productions. After graduation, she moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. She studied at the prestigious Actors Studio and appeared in several off-Broadway productions. Harrison's big break came when she was cast as Nova, the mute cavewoman, in the 1968 film Planet of the Apes. The film became a classic, and Harrison's portrayal of Nova was widely praised. She reprised her role in the film's sequel, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, in 1970. During the filming of Planet of the Apes, Harrison met producer Richard Zanuck, who became a mentor and friend. He encouraged her to continue acting and introduced her to other industry professionals. Harrison also credits her co-star, Charlton Heston, for his support and guidance during their time working together. Harrison's career continued to flourish throughout the 1970s and 1980s with roles in films such as The Effect of Gamma Rays on Man in the Moon Marigolds and The Postman Always Rings Twice. She also appeared in several television shows, including The Love Boat and Fantasy Island. Throughout her career, Harrison has remained grateful for the early influences and mentors who helped her achieve her dreams of becoming an actress. She continues to act and inspire aspiring actors with her talent and dedication to the craft. Linda Harrison was born on July 26, 1945, in Berlin, Maryland. She grew up in a family of five with two brothers. From an early age, Harrison was interested in performing and would often put on shows for her family and neighbors. Harrison's big break came when she was discovered by filmmaker Howard Hawks while working as a model in New York City. Hawks was impressed by Harrison's beauty and poise and cast her in his 1967 film Red Line 7000. The following year, Harrison was cast in the iconic role of Nova in the science fiction classic Planet of the Apes. Her performance in the film, which also starred Charlton Heston, cemented her status as a leading actress in Hollywood. 
Despite the success of Planet of the Apes, Harrison chose to take a break from acting to focus on her family. She married television producer Richard Donner in 1976, and the couple had two children together. In the 1980s, Harrison returned to acting, appearing in a number of television shows and films. She reprised her role as Nova in the 1970s television series Planet of the Apes and appeared in the 2001 film The One, starring Jet Li. Throughout her career, Harrison has been known for her beauty, grace, and talent. Her contributions to the world of film and television have left a lasting impact, and she continues to be a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Growing up in Berlin, Maryland, Linda Harrison's passion for acting was ignited at a young age. As a child, she would often put on shows for her family and neighbors using props and costumes made from household items. Her natural talent for storytelling and captivating performances were evident even then. During her high school years, Linda's drama teacher recognized her potential and encouraged her to pursue a career in acting. This support fueled her desire to take her passion to the next level. After graduation, she moved to New York City to study drama at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. One pivotal experience that solidified Linda's passion for acting was her first professional role in the film The Virginian in 1962. Although it was a small part, she was hooked by the excitement of being on set and working with other talented actors. This experience motivated her to continue auditioning for roles and perfecting her craft. Another moment that further fueled Linda's passion for acting was her role as Nova in the classic film Planet of the Apes in 1968. The film's success not only brought her recognition, but also a sense of fulfillment in her chosen career. She had the opportunity to work with renowned actors and filmmakers, further solidifying her love for the art of storytelling. From then on, Linda Harrison's passion for acting only grew stronger. She continued to take on various roles in film and television, showcasing her versatility and dedication to her craft. Her enduring love for acting is a testament to the spark that was ignited in her as a child and the pivotal experiences that fueled her desire to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. In the book it came from Horrorwood interviews with movie makers in the SF and Horror Tradition by Tom Weaver, the actress Linda Harrison shares her experiences in the film industry. Initially, Harrison was set to play the role of the sheriff's wife in the classic film Jaws, as her husband, Richard D. Zanuck, was one of the producers. However, Sid Scheinberg, the head of Universal, wanted his wife Lorraine Gary to have the part. As a result, Scheinberg's wife took on the role, highlighting the politics that can sometimes come into play in the film industry. Despite not sharing any scenes with Charlton Heston in Airport 1975, the actress had previously worked with him in Planet of the Apes and briefly in Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Interestingly, they would later both appear in the 2001 remake of Planet of the Apes, but once again, they did not share any scenes together. In Airport 1975, Harrison played the role of Winnie, a character that showcased her acting abilities. Despite not sharing any scenes with Heston in this film, their previous collaborations and later appearances in the Planet of the Apes remake demonstrate the longevity of their careers and their impact on the film industry. Early in Linda Harrison's acting career, she faced numerous challenges. Financial struggles were a constant concern for the aspiring actress, often finding it difficult to make ends meet. Despite these hardships, she remained determined to succeed in the industry. Skepticism from industry professionals added to her struggles. Many doubted her abilities and questioned her commitment to the craft. However, Harrison refused to let their doubts deter her. Instead, she used them as motivation to work even harder and prove her worth. To overcome these obstacles, Harrison got creative. She took on various jobs to support herself while pursuing acting opportunities. From waiting tables to working as a receptionist, she was willing to do whatever it took to keep chasing her dream. Harrison's resilience paid off when she landed her breakthrough role in the classic film Planet of the Apes. Her performance was praised by critics and audiences alike, solidifying her place in Hollywood. Despite facing numerous challenges early on, Harrison's determination and creativity allowed her to overcome them and build a successful career in the entertainment industry. Linda Harrison, best known for her role as Nova in the Planet of the Apes series, has resided in Maryland since the late 1970s. Among the distinguished cast of the original Planet of the Apes, Harrison is one of only two actors who also appeared in the 2001 remake. In the sequel, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Harrison reprised her role as Nova, joining Charlton Heston, Kim Hunter, and Maurice Evans as the only actors to return from the first film. Harrison's character, Nova, 
serves as a crucial link between the two Planet of the Apes movies, providing continuity and depth to the storyline. Living on the eastern shore of Maryland, Harrison continues to be a significant figure in the world of classic science fiction films. Her contributions to the Planet of the Apes franchise remain a testament to her enduring impact on the genre. In the late 1960s, Linda Harrison's career reached a turning point with her role as Nova in the groundbreaking film Planet of the Apes. The movie, known for its unique storyline and special effects, showcased the actress's ability to portray complex emotions despite the heavy prosthetics required for her character. Harrison's performance was praised by critics and peers alike, with her co-star Charlton Heston describing her as the heart of the film. Following the success of Planet of the Apes, Harrison reprised her role in the sequel, Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Although the film received mixed reviews, Harrison's performance was once again highlighted as a bright spot. Critic Roger Ebert noted her quiet dignity in the face of the film's chaotic plot. In addition to her work in film, Harrison also made an impact on television. She starred in the popular series The Streets of San Francisco alongside Carl Malden and Michael Douglas. Her portrayal of a tough, independent woman was praised for adding depth and complexity to the show's characters. Throughout her career, Harrison has been recognized for her contributions to the entertainment industry. In 1969, she was named one of the 10 most beautiful women in the world by Harper's Bazaar magazine. Her beauty and talent have left a lasting impact on both her peers and audiences, with her work continuing to be celebrated and studied to this day. Despite the challenges she faced in her career, Harrison remained dedicated to her craft, continually pushing herself to take on new and challenging roles. Her resilience and determination have solidified her place as a trailblazer in the entertainment industry, inspiring future generations of actors and actresses to break through barriers and push the boundaries of their craft. Linda Harrison's career as an actress began in the 1960s. She gained recognition for her role as Nova, the love interest of Charlton Heston's character in the classic science fiction films Planet of the Apes and Beneath the Planet of the Apes. These films became cult favorites and established Harrison as a notable actress in the genre. In addition to her work in film, Harrison also appeared in various television shows throughout the 1960s and 1970s. She had recurring roles in popular series such as The Virginian and Mission Impossible, showcasing her versatility as an actress. One of Harrison's most significant achievements came in 1967 when she was crowned Miss Ohio USA and went on to compete in the Miss USA pageant. Although she did not win the national title, this experience provided a platform for her to launch her acting career. Harrison's contributions to the entertainment industry have been recognized with several awards and nominations. In 1968, she received a Golden Globe nomination for Most Promising Newcomer for her role in Planet of the Apes. She has also been honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Throughout her career, Harrison has continued to be associated with the Planet of the Apes franchise. In 2011, she served as an executive producer for the documentary Behind the Planet of the Apes, which explored the making of the classic films. In recent years, Harrison has appeared in various independent films and continues to be active in the entertainment industry. Her contributions to classic cinema and her enduring legacy as an actress have solidified her place as a beloved figure in Hollywood. Linda Harrison's artistic vision is deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. As an actress, she approaches her work with a unique blend of intensity and vulnerability, creating characters that are both relatable and unforgettable. One of the defining aspects of Harrison's style is her ability to fully immerse herself in a role. She spends countless hours researching and preparing for each character, delving into their backgrounds and motivations to create a fully realized performance. This level of dedication and attention to detail is evident in every film and show she appears in, making her performances truly captivating. Another hallmark of Harrison's approach is her willingness to take on challenging and unconventional roles. She is not afraid to push boundaries and explore new territory as an actress, which has led to some of her most memorable performances. Harrison's personal experiences and worldview are also reflected in her work. Growing up in the Midwest, she developed a deep appreciation for nature and the beauty of the world around her. This love of the natural world is often reflected in her characters, who often have a strong connection to the earth and the environment. In addition to her work as an actress, Harrison is also a passionate advocate for environmental causes. She has used her platform to raise awareness about the importance of protecting the planet 
and preserving its natural resources for future generations. Overall, Linda Harrison's artistic vision and process are characterized by her intensity, vulnerability, and willingness to take risks. Her unique style and approach have made her one of the most respected and admired actresses of her generation, and her work continues to resonate with audiences around the world. In the 1968 classic Planet of the Apes, the role of Nova was originally considered for Ursula Andress and Raquel Welch, but neither showed interest. Angelique Pettijohn auditioned and even tried on costumes, but the part ultimately went to Linda Harrison, who was producer Richard D. Zanuck's mistress at the time. Harrison reprised her role as Nova in the sequel, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, which also featured Natalie Trundy, whose husband, Arthur P. Jacobs, was the franchise's producer. Meanwhile, in Airport 1975, Harrison, credited as Augusta Summerland, starred alongside her former Planet of the Apes co-star Charlton Heston. The role of Ellen Brody in Jaws was initially sought after by Heston, but he was unavailable due to his commitments to Airport 1975, an earthquake. Harrison lobbied for the part, but director Steven Spielberg preferred Lorraine Gary. As a consolation, Harrison was given a role in Airport 1975 by her husband, Richard D. Zanuck, who was also a co-producer of Jaws. In an interesting turn of events, if Heston had been cast as Chief Brody, it would have been the fourth time he and Harrison appeared together, as Zanuck had wanted Harrison to play Brody's wife. However, Universal's head honcho, Sid Scheinberg, wanted his wife, Lorraine Geary, for the part, leading to the right person being cast in each case. Despite the politics involved, it can be agreed that the casting was appropriate and the situation can be looked back on with humor. Linda Harrison's impact and influence in the film industry are noteworthy, particularly for her role in the classic film Planet of the Apes. As one of the few human characters, she held her own against the remarkable makeup and costumes of the ape characters. Her performance was pivotal to the film's success. The actress's work in Planet of the Apes influenced future science fiction films, which often featured strong female leads in non-traditional roles. Harrison's character, Nova, was a silent but powerful presence in the film, and her performance resonated with audiences. Harrison's impact extends beyond her on-screen work. She was also a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, advocating for equal pay and opportunities for women in the industry. Her activism helped pave the way for future generations of female actors and filmmakers. Industry experts and those inspired by Harrison have praised her contributions to the film industry. According to film critic Leonard Maltin, Linda Harrison brought a quiet strength to her role in Planet of the Apes, and her performance helped make the film a classic. Actor and director Ron Howard has also spoken about Harrison's influence, stating, Linda Harrison's work in Planet of the Apes was groundbreaking. She proved that women could hold their own in science fiction films, and her performance continues to inspire filmmakers today. In conclusion, Linda Harrison's impact and influence on the film industry are significant. Her work in Planet of the Apes helped shape the genre of science fiction films, and her activism paved the way for future generations of women in Hollywood. Her contributions continue to resonate with audiences and industry professionals today. Linda Harrison shares a unique connection with Daryl and Zanuck de Panita as her ex-sister-in-law. Interestingly, she was born on the same day as Dame Helen Mirren, who has garnered fame for her roles in Excalibur and The Queen. Delving into her personal life, the actress was once an ex-daughter-in-law to the prominent Hollywood figures Daryl F. Zanuck and Virginia Fox. The actress's former family members have left indelible marks in the film industry, with Daryl F. Sanuck being a renowned film producer and Virginia Fox being a popular actress during the silent film era. Despite not being from a show business background, the actress found her footing in the entertainment industry, gracing both the big and small screens with her presence. Linda Harrison is not just an actress, but also a passionate advocate for various causes. She is well known for her role in the classic film Planet of the Apes, but her philanthropic efforts often go unnoticed. Outside of acting, Harrison is deeply committed to environmental conservation. She has been involved with several organizations dedicated to preserving and protecting the planet's natural resources. In fact, her love for nature was a significant influence in her decision to take on the role of Nova in Planet of the Apes. Additionally, Harrison is a strong supporter of animal rights. She has worked with various animal welfare groups and has been vocal about the importance of treating animals with kindness and respect. Her advocacy for animals is reflected in her personal life, as she is a proud pet parent to several rescue animals. 
the actress is also passionate about promoting education and literacy. She has been involved with several programs aimed at providing books and resources to underprivileged children. Harrison believes that access to education is a fundamental right, and she is committed to doing her part to ensure that every child has the opportunity to learn and grow. In recent years, Harrison has become increasingly involved in efforts to support veterans and military families. She has worked with various organizations to provide resources and support to those who have served our country. Her dedication to this cause is a testament to her deep appreciation for the sacrifices made by our service members. Overall, Linda Harrison's personal values and interests have played a significant role in informing her work both on and off screen. Her commitment to environmental conservation, animal rights, education, and supporting veterans is an inspiration to many. Through her philanthropic efforts and advocacy, Harrison continues to make a positive impact on the world around her. In the sequel to the groundbreaking film Planet of the Apes, Linda Harrison reprised her role as Nova, but found herself working alongside a more serious James Franciscus. Moving on to Cocoon, Harrison's on-screen father, Wilford Brimley, was actually just 11 years her senior. A classic film enthusiast might recall Harrison's appearance in Airport 1975, where she acted under the name Augusta Summerland, playing Gloria Swanson's personal secretary. This name change marked her final acting roles, as she retired from the screen after a few more television appearances. Throughout her career, the actress demonstrated her range and adaptability, taking on diverse roles in various productions. From her iconic role in Planet of the Apes to her heartwarming performance in Cocoon, Harrison left an indelible mark on the world of film. Her contributions continue to resonate with audiences today, reminding us of the power and allure of classic cinema. Thespians and film buffs alike can appreciate the enduring impact of this accomplished actress. Linda Harrison, an accomplished actress, etched her name in the industry with memorable performances. Best known for her role in Planet of the Apes, she demonstrated that talent can shine regardless of dialogue. Harrison's career, spanning over five decades, is a testament to perseverance and adaptability. She transitioned from the big screen to television with ease, showcasing her versatility in various roles. For aspiring professionals, Harrison advises, stay true to yourself and never give up. The industry can be tough, but if you believe in your abilities and keep pushing forward, you will find success. She emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and growth. Always be open to new experiences and opportunities. You never know where they might lead you. In terms of future contributions, Harrison hopes to continue inspiring young talents. I want to use my platform to help others achieve their dreams. If I can make a difference in someone's life, then I consider that a success. Reflecting on her legacy, Harrison humbly states, I've had the privilege of working with some amazing people and being part of some incredible projects. I hope that my work has left a positive impact and inspired others to pursue their passions. In the ever-evolving world of entertainment, Linda Harrison's journey serves as a shining example of resilience and dedication. Her advice resonates deeply, offering valuable insights for those stepping into this captivating industry. As a fan of classic films, you must have seen Planet of the Apes, where Linda Harrison delivered a memorable performance. The actress portrayed the character Nova, capturing audiences' hearts with her charm and innocence. Linda Harrison's work extends beyond Planet of the Apes. She appeared in various TV shows and films, leaving an indelible mark in the entertainment industry. Her contributions to this classic film and others have created a lasting legacy that resonates with many. The actress's work has transcended time, remaining relevant and inspiring to this day. Her talent and skill have left an enduring impact, making her a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. Now, we would love to hear your thoughts on Linda Harrison's work and legacy. What do you cherish most about this classic film or her other performances? Share your memories and opinions in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. If you enjoyed this content, please like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.